This right here is the Mechanical Alliance Dark Commander. This figure is a knockoff of the Studio Series 38 Optimus Prime from the hit video game Genshin Impact. But is it a good figure? Yes. Here's a look at the packaging. You have artwork of Optimus Prime. Now this figure claims to have diecast metal parts. We'll see about that. Here's a look at the top. Also, I really like how these letters over here look very mechanical. Here's the side of the box art. And once again, a Transformers bootleg or knockoff isn't complete without the word deformation. The other side of the box is pretty much the same. Over here just says Dark Commander. So let's open it up. A quick look at the instructions, it's fairly simple and it has the same transformation as the Studio Series version. I missed out on the previous figure so I'm really glad I have this one now. Now here is the figure and it looks amazing. It's got a darker color scheme than the original but since it's a copy it's got all the same details on it. And I really do like this, except for this right over here, what the fuck. I don't know if I can use my god hands on this type of plastic so let's just hope nothing goes wrong. Uh, good enough. And here's a look at his Ion Blaster. It looks really, really nice. It's got a really great amount of detail on there and a nice black finish. And luckily he holds it pretty well and it's not falling off any time. You are horny and must be stopped no matter the cost. Now one thing to note about this figure, it doesn't come out of the packaging fully transformed. You need to bring this piece down and then these pieces inside the legs need to come out. So like, don't forget to do that. Because you wouldn't want to have to refilm the entire video. Another thing is that this piece right here doesn't seem to fully close all the way on my copy of the figure. But regardless, the rest of the figure looks absolutely amazing. Since this is a copy of the Studio Series 38, a lot of the details on it are going to be exactly the same. And the only major difference is that this is a dark color scheme. Also, there is a Nemesis Prime version of this figure. This figure has so much detail on it. If you open up his chest, there's a small amount of detail here on this part. And at the back, if you remove that, there's what looks to be like an impression for a grill front piece. Also, the box isn't lying. There are die cast parts. These chest pieces are die cast. Yep. And that's the only place I can tell. Now let's take a closer look at the head. The head sculpt on this is absolutely amazing. You can see some tiny bits of detail in there. He has these really nice blue eyes. The blue color for the head is great. The type of gray they used is also amazing. On the side, there is a dub marker over there, which is unfortunate. And this little ear area has a little bit of detail on it as well. Here's a look at the back of the head. And once again, a lot of detail. Down onto the chest. Like I said before, these are die cast. You have nice blue tinted windows, some windshield wipers and some rivets for the truck mode. And it's abdomen area looks amazing. There's so much intricate detail on it. It's also a very nice silver, but these side pieces are a bland gray. Down onto the crotch piece, I can kind of see a face there, can you? There's some nice yellow hair with a black outline and some tiny bits of detail in this area. These side panels also have some more detail. A closer look at the arm, you have these smokestacks. There's a lot of mechanical work going on here in this section. You have this molded on gear piece. There's more detail on the forearm section. The hands look very mechanical. Not that I would expect human hands or something. Down onto the thighs. Unfortunately, I have some stress marks on my copy of the figure. That's just how it came. At least it didn't come broken like other figures. These kneecaps have some break and reverse lights on them. They are faux pieces though. They don't appear in the transformation. However, the rest of the legs are a very nice blue. These bits are a nice dark gray. And you can see a little bit of detail in them. Turn the legs over to the side. There's not a whole lot of detail there. However, right over here, you have quite a bit. There's some pipes and some other mechanical things, whatever. If you bend the knees, there's even more detail going on there. And the feet look kind of awkward in my opinion. It does have some nice molded detail as well, along with this pipe over here and some gray paint. And hey look, I managed to get this to close in all the way. Good job, me. Now turn the figure around and there's even more detail at this top back part. There's a lot of very nice and very intricate designs. Closer look at the back of the legs. The gas tanks form quite a bit of the back thighs. And then this section right here also has some very nice molded detail. This this is a really superb figure. Now for articulation, you can't really move the head up and down that much. It does, however, spin all the way around. You can bring these arms out to the side. And what's really cool is that these bits right here kind of shift when you bring the arms out. The arms do have a hinge joint that allow you to move it back a little bit for the transformation. The arms are capable of moving all the way around. This just gets kind of in the way sometimes. And if you try to do it this way, you need to make sure this is out of the way. So that way you can spin it around. There's rotation at the biceps that can spin all all the way around. There's even rotation here at the forearms, but that's for the transformation. The hands have a 360 rotation. There is a full 360 on the waist. However, sometimes when I try spinning it, it kind of gets caught on something. So just be careful not to break anything when you do that. These side skirt flap pieces can move out, allowing the leg to come out. The leg can also go forward. However, they can't really move back that much. There is also a decent knee bend, as well as some leg rotation. There is a foot pivot, and the feet can move back that far. For comparisons, he's roughly the same size as 
Siege Optimus, Smaller Than Ultimate Optimus, Debon9913, Towering Like a Daddy over Studio Series Bumblebee, Holiday Prime, Bumblebee Movie Starscream, and here it is next to some packaged Bumblebee Movie figures. I'm definitely not teasing some future videos so you can subscribe. Also, I think we're missing an Optimus Prime comparison. What could it be? Alien attack. Now for the transformation. First, let's open up the chest, so that way you can bring the head out. Leave the head like that for now. Bring out the arms, and then close this piece right in there. Now when transforming the figure back, you're going to need a tool to remove this. Definitely don't use your fingers. I may have accidentally scratched myself and started bleeding. This is me when a plastic toy hurts me more than a woman ever could, but I don't talk to women so they can't hurt me. But that's actually not true. I I, I talk to a lot of women and th this isn't, I'm, I'm not just trying to cope here and make myself sound cool. I actually, I actually do talk to women guys, please. Now turn it around, bring down this back piece, bring these panels out into the side and bring those wheels out. Move them to the side a little bit. Now bring the top part of the body out like that. So that way you can rotate this piece. Just make sure nothing gets in the way when you do so. Make sure we have everything aligned so that way we can bring this head up like that and snap it into place and bring these up. So that way you can bring out the gas canisters. Do the same here, bring that out, and it does reveal some more detail on the inside. Now spread apart the legs, and then bring this up. Same with this. Also, is it just me, or are these two completely different colors? Let me know in the comments below if you can see that. We can close the chest piece finally, and make sure to bend the arms 90 degrees, and then move that hinge joint back in there. Same with this side, bring it in. And before we put the arms in there, we need to make sure to get these pieces out. Now rotate the hand to where they're facing up like that and now we can finally bring the arms in and then bring these pieces down have them in place make sure everything's good bring these flaps out into the side now let's bring these up and close these panels bring these in like that and close these side pieces now we can open these panels and bring them up bring these arm panels up as well and now this front piece of the truck now comes the part where you just have to line everything up now that we've done that, we just need to rotate the feet like this and bring them in from underneath. Same over here. Make sure to bring this trailer hitch out. Now we just need to connect these leg pieces. And then these pieces need to tab into these notches on the back of the cab. Same here. And then make sure these are tapped into place. Now we have the vehicle mode of the figure and it looks really nice. Most of the pieces do tap into place. It does pop out here and there a little bit, which is going to happen since this is a knockoff. So you might see some untapped pieces throughout the rest of the review. But regardless, this is a really nice truck mode. The front of this looks absolutely amazing. Once again, you have the blue tinted windows with some windshield wipers. And the front of the truck has some really nice detail on it. And the silver color is just absolutely great. It's got some nice headlights. On the top, you have a lot of panels on the transformation that's just how it's gonna be. These smokestacks do rotate a bit, so make sure they're straight. And like I said earlier, some pieces are just gonna keep detaching, just like so. So it's gonna require some fixing here and there, but even Hasbro's figures have had a lot of imperfections lately. Here's a look at the side of the truck. You have some painted on blue windows. You got the side view mirrors here. You do kind of have what resembles a door and a handle for the door. You have this little molded on panel detail there. Some pipes going on. At the bottom of the truck, you have some details there. These gas canisters, which I don't really like the color of, and here's a look at the back. The back side of the truck is really where I have the most difficult getting everything to tab into place properly. But over here on the trailer hitch, you have these nice spring details over there. And I do kind of wish that this was a different color. I also wish it would just snap in. Underneath the figure, not too much going on there, but you couldn't really tell this was a transformer. You can put the ion blaster in the back of the trailer hitch, but... It doesn't really stay in place. You could technically also place a trailer on him. There's no real solid connection, it's just kind of put in place. Now overall, despite having a few connection issues in the vehicle mode, I still do really like this vehicle mode. I think it looks fantastic. I think the robot mode looks fantastic. I think you look fantastic. Please like and subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out one of these videos over here. And a big thank you to all my patrons who support me on Patreon for only $1 a month. Thank you, goodbye.